The African savanna is a place of incredible beauty and raw, untamed power. Under the vast, sun-drenched sky, life and death play out every single day. For one particular resident, a magnificent African rock python, this day was tipping perilously towards the ladder. This snake, usually a formidable predator, lay coiled in the tall golden grasses, not in a posture of ambush, but in one of utter defeat. Its powerful muscles, normally rippling with strength, were limp and still. The vibrant, intricate patterns of its scales, which typically provided perfect camouflage, were now dull and clouded by a serious, life-threatening infection. It was a heartbreaking sight to see such a majestic creature so close to giving up. This python was fighting a losing battle against a severe bacterial infection that had taken hold. A deep wound on its side, likely from a desperate struggle with its prey or a territorial dispute, had become a gateway for sickness. The area was swollen, discolored, and oozing, a clear sign that the infection was spreading through its body. In the wild, an injury like this is often a death sentence. Without medicine or care, the python's own immune system was being overwhelmed. It was too weak to hunt, too weak to move, and every labored breath it took seemed like it could be its last. The unforgiving savanna offers no sympathy for the sick or the weak. The dangers surrounding the python were immense and ever-present. The scent of its sickness was like an open invitation to scavengers. A lone hyena, with its powerful jaws, could easily end the snake's struggle. A martial eagle, soaring high above, might spot the vulnerable reptile and see an easy meal. Even smaller creatures could pose a threat in its weakened state. The relentless African sun beat down, further dehydrating its already suffering body. Time was a luxury this python did not have. Every passing minute pushed it closer to the edge, a silent victim in this vast, wild landscape where only the strong survive. This is the harsh reality of nature, a cycle that is both beautiful and brutal. But sometimes, humanity has a chance to intervene, to offer a helping hand where nature offers none. The story of this snake was about to change because in the distance a different kind of presence was approaching. It wasn't a predator or a scavenger, it was a team of people who believed that every animal's life is precious and worth fighting for. Their arrival marked a pivotal moment, a flicker of hope in the face of almost certain doom. The silent struggle of this incredible reptile was about to get a whole lot louder, thanks to the dedication of a few good people. Our team, a dedicated group of wildlife biologists and veterinary specialists, had been in the region for weeks. We were studying the delicate ecosystem of this particular stretch of savanna. Our mission was not just to observe, but to protect. We were equipped with medical supplies, tracking gear, and a deep respect for the animals we shared this planet with. When we received a report from a local ranger about a large python that hadn't moved in days, we knew we had to act fast. We loaded up our 4x4 with everything we might need, a sterile medical kit, long-acting antibiotics, and specialized equipment for safely handling a large constrictor. This was our purpose, our passion. Leading the team was Dr. Aris, a veterinarian with years of experience treating exotic animals in the most challenging conditions. His calm demeanor was our anchor in high-stress situations. Alongside him was Kalo, our local guide and snake expert, whose knowledge of reptile behavior was second to none. My role was to document the rescue and assist with the physical handling of the animal, ensuring both the snakes and the team's safety. We weren't just colleagues, we were a unit, bound by a shared commitment to conservation. We knew the risks, but the possibility of saving a life made every single one of them worth taking. Our journey was a race against time. The drive to the Python's location was tense. We navigated through rugged terrain, our vehicle kicking up clouds of red dust. Every bump and jolt was a reminder of the precious minutes ticking by. Dr. Aris reviewed the potential treatment plan with us discussing different scenarios we might encounter. Was the snake aggressive despite its weakness? Was the infection worse than reported? We had to be prepared for anything. Kalo pointed out landmarks, his eyes scanning the horizon with an intensity that only comes from a lifetime spent reading the signs of the wild. The air in the truck was thick with anticipation and a shared sense of purpose. As we finally approached the location on foot, a hush fell over our team. Kalo signaled for us to slow down, his hand raised. Through the tall grass we saw it. The python. It was even larger than we had imagined, a true giant of the savannah. But its state was just as dire as we had feared. It lay motionless, a tragic figure against the wild backdrop. Seeing it there so vulnerable and so close to death strengthened our resolve. This was more than just a mission, it was a promise. 
a promise to do everything in our power to give this incredible creature a second chance at life. The rescue had officially begun. Approaching a wild 10-foot African rock python, even a sick one, is a task that demands immense respect and caution. These snakes are pure muscle, and even in a weakened state, their survival instincts can trigger a powerful defensive reaction. A bite from a python of this size, while not venomous, can cause serious injury with its rows of sharp, backward-curving teeth. The primary danger, however, is constriction. If it were to wrap around an arm or a torso, its strength could be overwhelming. Our first priority was to secure the snake's head safely. Kalo was an artist in this regard. He moved with a slow, deliberate grace that was almost hypnotic, minimizing any stress to the animal. The challenge was magnified by the python's condition. We couldn't be rough. We had to be gentle. A sudden or forceful movement could cause more harm or push the snake into shock. Kalo used a long, specialized snake hook to gently guide the python's head, while I positioned myself to support its heavy body. It was a delicate dance, a careful choreography of movement and anticipation. The snake barely reacted at first, a sign of just how weak it truly was. But as Kalo secured its head with a firm but gentle grip, a flicker of its wild spirit returned. It tensed its muscles, a faint but powerful reminder of the giant we were dealing with. Once the snake was safely restrained, Dr. Aris sprang into action. He knelt beside the python, his movements swift and efficient. He first examined the wound, his expression grim. The infection is deep, he said, his voice low and focused. We need to clean it thoroughly and administer a strong dose of antibiotics immediately. He carefully cleaned the infected area, removing debris and dead tissue. This was a critical step to give the medication the best chance to work. The smell of the infection was potent, a harsh reminder of the decay that had taken hold. We all worked in silence, each person focused on their specific role in this life-or-death procedure. The teamwork was flawless. While Kalo and I kept the snake secure and calm, Dr. Aris prepared a syringe with a powerful, long-acting antibiotic. Finding the right spot to inject a large reptile is a skill in itself, requiring knowledge of their unique anatomy. He chose a thick muscle band along the snake's back, a location that would ensure the medicine was absorbed effectively into its bloodstream. The injection was over in a second. We had done everything we could in the field. Now the rest was up to the python's own strength and the power of the medicine. Our part in the delicate dance was over. It was time to let nature, with a little help, take its course. After administering the treatment, we didn't just pack up and leave, we decided to stay and observe from a distance. The first few hours were critical. We moved our vehicle to a respectful distance, using binoculars to monitor the python. For a long time, there was no change. The snake remained motionless, and a quiet worry began to settle over our team. Had we been too late? Was the infection too advanced for the medicine to make a difference? The sun began to dip towards the horizon, painting the sky in brilliant shades of orange and purple. The savanna was transitioning into its nighttime rhythm, and still, the python lay silent. Then, just as dusk was settling in, we saw it. A small movement. The python slowly lifted its head, its tongue flicking out to taste the air. It was the first sign of awareness we had seen. A wave of relief washed over our team. It was a small gesture, but it was everything. Over the next hour we watched, captivated, as the snake began to slowly uncoil its body, it was testing its muscles, reacquainting itself with its own strength. The antibiotics were beginning to fight back the infection, clearing the fog of sickness that had clouded its senses. This was the moment we had been hoping for, the turning point in its struggle for survival. We watched as the python, with newfound energy, began to move towards the cover of some nearby rocks. It was a slow and deliberate journey but it was a journey of recovery. It knew instinctively that it needed a safe place to rest and heal. Seeing it move under its own power was our reward. It was a testament to the resilience of wildlife and the impact that compassionate intervention can have. Dr. Aris smiled, a look of deep satisfaction on his face. It has a fighting chance now, he said, a real fighting chance. We knew our work here was done. The snake was back on its path, guided by its own ancient instincts. This rescue was a powerful reminder of our connection to the natural world and our responsibility to protect it. Every single animal from the largest elephant to the most misunderstood snake plays a vital role in the intricate web of life. By choosing to act, by combining our skills and our courage, we were able to give one magnificent creature a second chance. As we drove away under a sky filled with stars, we carried with us not just the memory of a daring rescue but a renewed sense of hope. 
hope that with a little bit of help and a whole lot of heart, we can make a difference. One animal at a